all right guys good morning everybody uh so happy thanksgiving tomorrow is american thanksgiving you know it's funny in canada we have it in october uh which is uh very funny because uh, apparently uh you know farming is different in uh hi thanks for watching my video my name is andrew aziz and i'm the author of how to day trade for a living in this channel i'm showing my daily trades on the u.s stock market i hope that you enjoy the videos make sure to subscribe to our channel Thanks for watching and welcome to my channel. Um, Canada, but happy Thanksgiving. Uh, so I hope everybody's uh, seeing family, stay away from discussing crazy things. I know it's one of those holidays that uh, everybody loves and everybody hates at the same time. So <laughs> uh, because uh, you have to go and see some uh, uh, close uh, family that uh, sometimes you don't like. So NVDA was the great of, uh, uh, you know, the, the biggest earning that everybody was expecting. Obviously, it's a company that uh, was extremely trading at high value. And uh, all the expectations were good. Actually, they beat all the expectations and revenue and everything. But the only thing that they said is that in the short term, China might be an issue uh, because of the you know cheap act. Regardless, it opened flat, but market at the open opened very crazily strong. Like TQQ, super super strong. One minute opening range break up. It was just volume was getting destroyed. It's just going up and up and up. I went jumped in for 44.90 for the long. You know, broke out all the way up to 40. 450 so that was a very very nice uh, trade that we had it did came back up to my break-even point and I instead of getting a stopped out this is the biggest mistake that I did step because that I added to my position so usually I'm getting a stopped out that would have been a really good day like a four or five thousand dollar profit day and I could go home and do nothing but uh, I instead of coming this I said no this was a strong day it's gonna this is gonna bounce back and I added more here and what happened after this ad uh, it just dropped significantly more and instead of me getting a stopped out I, I added more on that and uh, eventually I got a stopped out uh, you know when I saw that no this is not gonna bounce so the market overall did a really really nice move at the open and surprisingly a very nice uh, drop after that and that turned out to be a very good day instead of just getting stopped out adding and then I added to my short uh, you know loss so I made my loss really back and then I tried to uh, tr uh, try uh, get another bounce twice on it uh, so this time didn't really work and I actually tried to do another time on it that did work and eventually uh, uh, made some of the losses back so TQQ came up to here did the double bottom would have been a good long I didn't get it but uh, you know really nice long from here popped up all the way up to 4480 and I made some of the losses back but not all of it as you see here I still uh, ended with a $3,000 loss on that a really 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 good trade was AMD AMD was on fire you know everybody was actually instead of uh, buying NVIDIA was trading NVIDIA and that was a really nice again this massive uh, move that we had at the open you see this massive move um, so this massive move that we, we had I didn't get it uh, but Brian so many other people got it and the, you know in this consolidation I saw a huge ask at 124 I have the picture and then went long for a quick pop from 123.70 all the way up to 124 or 5 or something like that 10 so that was a really quick two thousand dollar uh, scalp on it and never after that I really never touched the AMD so AMD was a really really nice day and VDA was uh, a little bit of a dis different story again it was the earning huge volume in the pre-market didn't do anything for first few minutes and then it squeezed above the viva and this is what i said to myself that if this is going to squeeze above like this uh, above the viva which is really really like this price action this uh moving average i went long for a pop above uh, this moving averages and the high of pre-market at 504 let's just show the high of pre-market at 504 yeah here so 505 so do you see the high of pre-market here so i said that okay we're gonna we're gonna get this uh we're gonna get this toward this so i went long popped up so you know we had this mini level of pre-market sold some and then it dropped below the vvap and i got a stop down and then i tried to catch a bounce again one more time because i said okay you know this is the earning i tried to catch a bounce here i went long and i got to stop that and i took big size on nvidia and you know dropped three four five this one for, from 490 to uh, drop to 484 so six dollars on me that was really a lot so this was a huge loss on it it was like thirteen thousand dollar loss dropped eventually and i eventually find out that uh, bottom here and i decided to go long popped up sold some on the pullback i added more and sold all the way up to 485 and i knew when nvidia is selling off like that it might not really go back to viva you know the sell-off was so massive for the next for this uh, 20 minutes that i kind of knew that uh, we might not really 
getting into a really big bounce back to the VWAP. And when he was selling off, like uh, when he was up here selling off, I asked uh, Brian that Brian, maybe it's a good idea to really sell some calls at 505 up there for Friday because we have almost pretty much a day and a half left. And this sell off is really crazy. And the premium was $3 and Brian sold it. And I think he made a really good money on that, uh, selling the calls and eventually covered them down here for a really good profit. I should have done it. I didn't do that. And yeah, so that was uh, that was my NVIDIA trade that eventually really uh, recovered on that. So AMD, NVIDIA, and Tesla, and TQQ, which uh, turned out to be eventually the loss, the biggest loss is the averaging down that I did on TQQ. And uh, let me show you TQQ again. This average down was very bad. This made my, not only I gave all the profit back here, but also, you know, here it's just that loss was really, really bad. So never average down, one of the biggest things, the mistakes that you can do. And uh, Tesla, I had a couple of struggle on Tesla. Um, so at the open, I tried to again catch the very same trade on AMD. You know, popped up for open range break up, got it stopped out, and I tried to catch a reversal on it uh, twice that I got really didn't make any money, and you know, eventually turned out uh, with nothing on uh, with nothing on Tesla. So that was uh, my trading there, Brian. What did you do? I know you traded AMD very nicely a couple of times. Yeah, and Am Amazon was um, I was watching Amazon too. I started out trading Delta, but it, you know I did get a, made a little money on it because I thought Delta would go up, uh, the airlines would go up because the oil prices really dropped this morning on some OPEC news. Um, so I thought the uh, airlines would benefit more, but really didn't get much move. So, but then I noticed Amazon really uh, ripping out of the gate, so I took that long. Amazon. And, um, Let me see what Amazon yeah. you did in here. Yeah, Amazon. Oh yeah, that massive run that we had. Amazon. Yeah. You know, everybody was talking about it. Yeah. Just uh, crazy. And then uh, traded AMD with you, which you already covered. So, yeah. So that overall, and, and then uh, yeah, you mentioned my other trade. Shorted the uh, the 500 calls on Nvidia. Covered uh, just pretty much covered all of them right now. Yeah, it was amazing. So, yeah. And, so uh, yeah. So and then it had stopped trading. So. Um, I did try to catch a Tesla bottom that uh, didn't work out, but um, just a small loss on that. So trading uh, wise, uh, so in terms of position, guys, I don't have any other position. So I have some TNA, I'm um, short TLT puts, and I have VOO, which is uh, essentially a spy, but by Vanguard. So I, you know, JP and JPQ, these two funds that we had, and they are really underperforming in a bull market. So which, if you're in a bull market, which I think we are, then uh, you don't want to stay in those funds because they are defensive funds. And di even though they give you dividend, but they don't give you any capital gain. So it's better for you. That's why I sold all of my JP and JPQ and I switched to SPY. And uh, uh, TNA is also the leverage product for IWM because I, I think IWM was a little bit oversold. It's not anymore, but it was oversold by the time that I actually bought that. Um, so there was two also uh, lesson education lesson that I just wanted to mention that you guys this is TQQ uh, by the moment that I saw long at 44.90 I saw a huge ask you see at 45 it's a very important ask here look at the time 9.32 so you know one one of the reasons that you know that the asks are high is means that you want to punch through that and there you go boom uh, you see the time stamp 9.32.18 and 9.33.57 boom you're 10 cents above that uh, ask that you want I already partial that same for AMD as well so the, the moment that I went long heavy on AMD look at this guys again it's very important for you to see that 124 huge ask sitting almost 500 lots which is uh, each lot is 100 shares 941.25 that's why I see that plus I had all the all the important information about getting long because we have a very massive uh, bullish price action this is a small consolidation huge ask on it and then boom you're gonna uh, you're gonna go through that and as you see boom we got up 25 cents above it and that's exactly what uh, we're looking for so again trading based on the level two so even though it turned out to be loss but uh, it was a really really good day Paris had a very nice uh, trade on Microsoft both longs and short I'm gonna actually talk about uh, Paris and Paris course which I think in my opinion is the best order flow and time and sales course in the industry you know the best course I don't 35 hours full of materials and uh, you know Paris you know essentially is a nobody but if he had the you know name of some of these big people in the industry this course would have been really a superstar for trading but look at that look at this beautiful short that he did on Microsoft and uh, um, you know really could bounce from the Microsoft and I was reading it by the order flow and the course is uh, you know 100, 199 
and uh, you know you you uh, and now is a discount code for the black friday is only 9.99 one good trade can make that one thing one thing that you learn you can actually learn that uh, uh in this course and it makes that uh, money for you and there is nothing like that in the youtube in the books there's nothing like that in the industry in my opinion and ask people in the chat you know cuba just said paris is uh, you know the go the course is really good on that kind of things all right. Anyways, guys, so thank you so much uh, for that. Again, guys, we have uh, this uh, Black Friday deal. So let me quickly explain the Black Friday deal that we have. We decided to have, <coughs> uh, you know, uh, this Black Friday deal for everybody. Let's take a look at it. So what do we have here? This uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday is that our annual plan is 50% uh, discount as usual. So if anyone wants to just join a community for education and chat room, but if you want to have one P Capital Bootcamp and one year of membership and uh, three months of simulator and fifty thousand dollar funded account that hundred percent of the profit goes to you plus three months of trading journal trading of trader view that's also you know three hundred dollars value the das itself is uh, six hundred dollars value so if you want all of them together at the you know price of 299 you can uh, two thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars you can have that and you can use it um, for any bootcamp that you want if you don't want it January you can use it in the next one on May and what if you already have a membership you know what if you still have six months left so if you purchase this today we're gonna add one year to your uh, you know six months so you got you're gonna have more uh, you know time in the expiry of your membership with us so you don't need to you know get a refund or you don't need to wait for uh, your membership expire you just did immediately on the back end we set the new expiry date for you and obviously because the boot camp you're working with the, uh, our senior and junior traders you know the spots are limited so i hope that uh, you know we can get to 50 people signing up that would be nice uh, what if you are a lifetime member then we're going to add uh, membership for your next lifetime so you get access to bearable traders when you die as well either in hell or heaven you have access to that that's uh, that's the deal uh, for the lifetime members because we extend your uh, lifetime membership have a good day guys <laughs> thank you so much and uh, uh, brian and i are going to uh, colombia uh, today we, we have a meetup in colombia in uh, medellin or medellin i never knew how actually we uh, uh, pronounce uh, that kind <laughs> of city so the saturday so if you if you want to join just email me andrew at bill traders we're gonna we have a couple of really really good traders in uh, uh in colombia looking forward to that guys ciao <laughs>